The group of seven wealthy democracies on Wednesday wrapped up their first in-person meeting in more than two years, accusing China of human rights abuses and a crackdown on pro-democracy figures while voicing concern about Russian aggression against Ukraine. Foreign ministers from host country Britain, plus the United States, France, Germany, Italy, Canada, and Japan, also called on Iran to release foreign and dual nationals they said were being held arbitrarily in Iranian jails. They threatened the Myanmar junta, which staged a coup in February with fresh sanctions, in a wide-ranging final communique covering the world's most pressing geopolitical issues, including climate change and post-pandemic recovery. The ministers committed to financially support the vaccine program COVAX, but there was no immediate announcement on fresh funding to improve greater access to vaccines, despite repeated calls for the G7 to do more to help poorer countries. A Facebook oversight board has voted to uphold former President Donald Trump's ban from the social media platform. AP's Sagar Magani has details. The quasi-independent board says the suspension four months ago was justified, agreeing two of Trump's posts inciting violence the day of the Capitol riot severely violated Facebook's standards. But the board is faulting how Facebook made the decision, saying an indefinite suspension was inappropriate, that Facebook tried to avoid responsibility by applying a vague penalty and then asking the board to resolve the issue. It's giving Facebook six months to come up with another penalty. For now, Trump remains off Facebook. He's also been permanently banned from Twitter. Sagar Magani, Washington. Teams of experts are projecting COVID-19's toll on the United States will fall sharply by the end of July, according to research released by the government Wednesday. At a news conference, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said some models are predicting the pandemic's toll will ease sharply this summer. The models projected a sharp decline in cases by July 2021 and an even faster decline if more people get vaccinated sooner. However, experts warned that a substantial increase in hospitalizations and deaths is possible if unvaccinated people do not follow basic precautions such as wearing a mask and keeping their distance from others. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention paper included projections from six research groups. Their assignment was to predict the course of the epidemic between now and September under different scenarios, depending on how the vaccination drive proceeds and how people behave. Germany and the World Health Organization on Wednesday announced a new global monitoring center to prepare for and prevent future public health threats like the COVID-19 pandemic. The WHO will coordinate the so-called Global Hub for Pandemic and Epidemic Intelligence based in Berlin. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said the COVID-19 pandemic exposed gaps in the global healthcare system. There will be more viruses uh, that will emerge with the potential of sparking epidemics or pandemics. The hub, which will receive around $36 million from Germany and seek funds elsewhere, will build on existing monitoring mechanisms at the WHO and elsewhere. Sixty years after Alan Shepard became the first American in space, everyday people are on the verge of following in his cosmic footsteps. AP's Julie Walker reports. The lift off and the clock is starting. On May 5th, 1961, Shepard rocketed from Cape Canaveral. What a beautiful view. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin Company is opening ticket sales today for short hops from Texas launched by a rocket named New Shepard. Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic aims to kick off tourist flights next year. We welcome you back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. For those of you enrolled in our frequent flyer program, you have earned 68 million miles on this voyage. That's a lot of frequent flyer miles, and that's how the latest crew of astronauts were greeted by NASA when they returned to Earth Sunday. Elon Musk's SpaceX will use the same capsule to launch a billionaire in September, along with a pair of contest winners and a hospital worker. I'm Julie Walker.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.